Hey there YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to the Metal Vault. Today we are opening two booster boxes of Ixalan. It's going to be a good time. Uh, we opened one before, so we're going to see if we can get the rest of our cards to be able to make some of these cool decks. And let's go ahead and get started without further ado. Got to find a good seam here. Here we go. So the quality of the seals is, feels like it's getting a little bit better. Out of the way. Okay, ah, fresh, fresh booster boxes. Gotta love fresh booster boxes. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff out of here. Starting to get my booster packs arranged here so we can get started. <coughs> and let's go. Oh, that was tough. Okay. We're going to go through the commons and the commons pretty quick. The Dreadnought, Arsonist, Chupacabra. Verdant Sun's Avatar. You know, it looks like an interesting dino, but I don't know that it really is going to get in, in any of the standard decks. Okay, we got... Siren Storm Tamer, Savage Stomp, Fire Cannonade, and Vance's Blasting Cannons. Not I'm not sure on at all. I've been mainly paying attention to dinosaurs, and um, just recently I made a Merfolk deck. Maybe I'll share that with you guys They're pretty quick. And let's see, we got, oh, Direfleet Captain, good card, Herald of Secret Streams. Okay. Actually picked up four of those just recently for my Merfolk deck, so that'll go in the Trade Binder. But uh, this guy's really good for Merfolk. Creatures you control, plus one, plus one counters on them, can't be blocked. There's a lot of things in Merfolk that let you get counters, so. <coughs> it's a very good, very good card. We're in four of the memorable deck. I think I will do that. I think I'll um, sit down and do a vid on my my specific Merfolk deck because it's a little different than what I've been seeing. Arcane Adaption. As Arcane Adaption enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control are the chosen type in addition to their other types. The same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. That's cool. That's if you want to mix it up, do like a certain card or two from uh, Merfolk or something else that you want to be able to still get your tribal anthems. Okay. Deeper Waters. Actually, you want to lose my set aside. Sanguine Sacrament. Oh, nice! And a foil ripjaw raptor. That buddy is going in the dino deck here. That's always nice. Get a nice foil rare at the end of a pack. Cool. And it's a good one, too. Get the corner off this. Wanted Scoundrels, Field of Rune, Odebeck Huntmaster, Engrath's Marauders. Cool. 
Got a good feeling with this box, I think. It's a nice way to start it off. I hate it when a certain, like one corner of the pack doesn't open. And if you try to force it, you could really bend up the entire pack. I've done that before. Raging Sword 2, Thraptor Hatchling, Regisaur Alpha. Nice. Awesome. That is... We can keep doing this all day, getting rare dinos. That, that'll be perfectly fine with me. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, Stormfleet Aerialist. Tempest Caller. Merfolk Branch Walker. Shaper Sanctuary. I actually need another one of those. We'll keep that to the side too. Oh, nice. It's the Illusion Token. That looks good. Shaper Sanctuary is a good card. Um, really good. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about trying to work it into the Dinosaurs deck because that way you punish the opponent for Conqueror's Galleon. You punish the opponent for uh, removing your creatures. Let's see. Right now I think I'm running two of in my Merfolk deck. Ashes of the Abhorrent. Speaker, Inspiring Cleric, River Sneak. I needed another one of them, so that's cool. Daring Saboteur. Sorry, I'm trimming the fat off the top here, putting Merfolk cards aside. Unknown Shores. Hotly Honor Guard, eh. and a Foil Crushing Canopy. Alright. Okay. Dinosaur Stampede, Walk the Plank, Glorifier of Dusk. Argul's Bloodfast. Still, jury's out for me on the vampires. Um, I have a playset of the, was it Forsaken, Forsaken Courtyard or Concealed Courtyard? This would be kind of cool to make a vampires deck because I've got the land base for it, but. Oh, Drover. Lightning Strike. Blood Crazed Paladin. It'd be kind of cool to make a Paladin or a Vampire's deck, but um, I don't know. I don't know if I like them or not yet. I don't know. Maybe it's just the art for him this set that doesn't do it for me, but. Stupid brown and on Raptor Hatchling, Sky Terror. Oh, Hotly, there we go. Take that, that'll work. It's my second Hotly because we pulled one in the pulled one in the other box, but that's it's, I always like seeing planeswalkers, it's always good. So let's see. Glacial Fortress. All right, needed the blue white lens too, so that's good. I think we're a little over a third of the way through this. Hmm. Maybe half, maybe yeah, we're about halfway, I think, maybe. Let's see.
weaker. Yeah. I honestly, I don't think this, I've seen it in Smurfle lists. I, I just don't think, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't like it. There's there's better forecasting cost in Merfolk to where you'd never really want to play that. River Sneak. Fell flagship. Unknown Shores, Fine Shaper, Bishop of Bloodstain, Air Elemental, Star of Extinction. It's the sweeper, right? Destroy target land, Star of Extinction, deals 20 damage to each creature in each planeswalker. Yeah, see, but it hits you too. You'd have to be like full burn for that to be like really cool. I don't know. And then it's like a 7 casting cost. It's really not that great when Settle the Wreckage is. Phenomenal, um, and it's a lot lower than that. Revel and Riches. Yeah, that glue is snappy. Some of the packs just disintegrate, and whatever else, like the Ixalan ones, have been really nice and uh, like a beefy seal to them. Priest of the Awakening Sun and a foil air elemental. Right. That corner right there. See that? A little corner when you miss it you gotta watch out for it bend up all your cards it's not good uh, perilous voyage vicious conquistador shapers Verasca's contempt Slice and Twain, Duskborn Sky Marcher, Fiery Cannonade, Legion's Landing. Maybe it's just the way I open the packs. Maybe it doesn't happen to everyone. Lightning Rig Crew, Wild Growth Walker, Dark Nourishment, and Bishop of Rebirth. It is officially an extra now. I have like uh, four. I pulled it like twice in my pre-releases. And um, I just, I've just come to the conclusion and at least when I played, at least in limited, it is not good. It is not a good limited card. You're not going to field it. Too big. Lightning Strike. Uh, Mavern Fane. Dusk Fossil. Building up that vampire deck, huh? Dream Color Siren. Yuck. And uh, Foil Planes. Put that there. I don't know if you guys collect the Foil Lands, but I like set aside all of them. I have them sleeved up separately, so like when I do a deck, I can grab the colors I'm using. Bling it out. Hostage Taker. Do you have a play set of those? So that will be getting traded, I'm sure. But, excellent card. Super fun. A huge bomb in limited. Excellent. That card was what won me my games. Um, both times at the pre-release. 
So if you get a chance to first pick that, highly highly recommend it. Sunbird's Invocation. Okay. Plus, I think they're going for ten or fifteen bucks now. Man, these packs are really tough. Emergent Growth, Prior Reprisal, Dead Eye Quartermaster. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Frasca Relic Seeker. Cool. Definitely cool to see Planeswalkers, and especially Planeswalkers I don't have. Or need more of, right? Awesome. This has been a good box so far, it feels like. I've pulled two Planeswalkers, a couple like really cool rares, repeating barrage. Um, oh, there we go, two foil rares now, Blood Craze Paladin. Cool. Yeah, a couple cool foil rares now. It's been a good box for us. Let's see if we can finish up strong. We got um, this one and five more, so six packs. Let's see. Rallying Roar, Thundering Spineback, horrible card, Emissary of Sunrise, oh my lord, oh nice, the Carnage Tyrant, there he is, saying hi, I needed him very badly, I actually need another one of him, but um, you know what, it's, it's good to see one, that's for sure, for some reason, it, I, people I know haven't been pulling him that much, not nearly as much as I thought. I mean, I guess he's a mythic, but... Um, yeah, super, super good card. Really, I mean, if you haven't seen this yet, look at that. Carnage Tyrant can't be countered. Trample Hexproof. What really more do you want besides maybe haste? But your Odepec Huntmaster can give him that. Six mana, seven, six. That is all kinds of awesome. Um, Vanquisher's Banner. Wow. Okay, so this has been a great box now. Carnage Tyrant is fantastic. If we can pull another one of him in this two box opening, that would be amazing. Death Gorge Scavenger. Fantastic. Got three packs now. We get Run chores. I'm just not pulling a lot of the um the other one, unclaimed territories. I'm pulling a lot of unknown chores, no unclaimed territories. I've got one playset. Charging monster sword, great card. Sorcerer spyglass. Let's see. Two packs here. Second to last pack. Come on, let's get something awesome for the end here. Come on. The Carnage Tower is pretty awesome. Rune Raider. All right, nice solid card. Good card, especially limited. Whoa, only guys in a limited bit of pirates deck that uh, he was using Rune Raiders that he pulled, and it did phenomenal against me. It did a lot of work. Last pack. Here we go. Sheltering Light. Bonded Horngrass. Ugh. Ixalan's Binding. Good card. Depths of Desire. Really? Why do we have a common in there? Is it? Oh. Thematic Compass. Eh, well. Not the best ending there, but a good pack nonetheless. Let's see what we got. We got Shaper Sanctuary, Thematic Compass, Rune Raider, Sorcerer Spyglass, Death Gorge Scavenger, Vanquisher's Banner, Carnage Tyrant, Foil Blood Craze Paladin, Repeating Barrage, Vraska Relic Seeker, Sunbird's Invocation, Hostage Taker, Foil Planes, Dreamcaller Siren, Mavern Fane Dusk Apostle, 
Bishop of Rebirth, Legion's Landing, Vraska's Contempt, Priest of the Awakening Sun, Revel in Riches, Star of Extinction, Fell Flagship, Waker of the Wilds, Glacial Fortress, Huatli, Blood Craze Paladin, Agrul's Blood Fast, Takatli Honor Guard, Daring Saboteur, Ashes the Abhorrent, Conqueror's Galleon, Regisaur Alpha, Angrath's Marauders, A Foil Ripjaw Raptor, Sanguine Sacrament, Arcane Adaption, Herald of Secret Streams, Vance's Blasting Cannons, and the Verdant Sun's Avatar. Overall, I think it was an excellent box. I'm very happy with it. Let's give it a minute and we'll go on to the next one. Okay, let's get started on the second box here. Let's see what we pull. Get the seal working. There we go. Oh, there we go. Perfect. There we go. There's more fresh, excellent packs. Outstanding. Right? Cool. Pull these out. side real quick. So got some space to work. Okay. That one opened real easy. We got Lightning Rear Crew, Rotting Looter, Fiery Cannonade, Bishop of Rebirth. Ugh. Ugh. Sick of that card. Ranging Raptors, Charging Monster Sword, Rootbound Crag. Awesome. I need one of those. I need actually one more, I think. Yeah, one more. Good place set. And then I think that's the last of the land that I need for my Naya mid-range Dinos deck. Um, ooh, cool. Huntmaster, Dark Immersement, uh, Ripjaw Raptor. And a uh, Foil Ritual. Ooh, Foil Ixalan's Binding, good card. Treasure Map. The Ixalan's Binding is a good card. Because um, <clears throat> it's, you know, enemy can't play another card named that. So you drop it on a Scarab God. That's it, not playing Scarab God. Blood Craze Paladin. I'd like to do is drop drop it on hostage taker in some of these blue black decks. Dead Eye Tracker. Cool. Oh, what was that? Foil Dusk Legion Dreadnought. Nice. Chores. Fleet Swallower. And a foil cancel. Which is cool. 
because it's a good card. Something we'll see a lot of use. I think. Because it's basically just a disallow. Except you don't get the ability thing. Deep Root Champion. Cool, cool. These guys are actually really good in Marvolk. Um, I had one get to a 6-6 six, six just from casting other non-creature spells during the game. Unclaimed Territory. There we go. And uh, Sword Point Diplomacy. Foil. And a Conqueror's Galleon. It's weird, some of these foils showing up <coughs> in the front. In the front. That was behind the rear. Arcane Adaption. Alright, so this... This box, I guess, is our penance. We got a Ripjaw Raptor and a Rootbound Crag, but uh, this box so far is our penance for uh, getting a good box last time, I guess. Let's see if we can turn this up a little bit. Hopefully we get some better stuff. Right now I'm a little underwhelmed. Boneyard Parley. That is a commander card, not a standard card. Jolly Sunwing, eh, eh, we these really kind of low-end rares here. Got a fair amount of the box to go, though. We had a good box before, so even if we get completely hosed on this one, we should still have a good day. Um, old Growth Dryads. Ruthless Knave, Dusk Legion Dreadnought, River Sneak. There you go, Reach Store Alpha. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. That's good. Here we go. All right. Turn in the corner on this box. I can feel it. Start opening the really good shit now. Priest of the Awakening Sun. Eh, well, okay, maybe not, maybe next pack, right? Okay, so we got a Ripjaw Raptor and a Regisaur. And a Rootbound Crag. Which is cool. We needed all three of those, but... Let's see if we can get some better stuff going here. Uh, Herald. Okay. Well, just happen to have Heralds. Emperor's Vanguard. Okay. Rowdy Crew. These are like off rares, I guess. I'm not getting a lot of the iconic ones in this box. Primal Amulet. Just a little over halfway. Let's see. Daring Saboteur. Ick. Gosh, I don't know about this box, guys. This box is taking us to Hosetown so far. 
Jeez. Unclaimed territory. Dragon Skull Summit. All right, that's fine. All right. A little bit better. The unclaimed territory is nice. Two boxes now. I think that's the only one I've pulled. Ah, oh, there we go. Growing Rites of Ilmok. That's the Gaia's Cradle. Yeah. Growing Rites of Ilmok. That is a good card. And that is a welcome sight here. That's what we got. Stupid Bronodon. Raider's Wake. Did I? Oh, River's Rebuke. Oh, and a Fathom Fleet Captain. Foil. That's cool. I was like getting extra foil rares. Okay. Got Fathom Fleet Captain. All right. Working on that playset, I guess. Yeah, this box. We're going to have to get some wow in here pretty quick. Two thirds of the way done, at least. Um, uh, Gishath, okay, all right, he's good. I have two of him, so the third is uh, is fine. I'm only gonna play him in the one deck, so that guy will probably get traded. Drover, Ashes the Abhorrent. Well, Waker. Yeah, this is um, an underwhelming box so far. Paper Sanctuary, okay, well, it's a decent card, not worth anything, but at least it's something I know. Let's see. Revel Riches. Okay. Well, I don't know. Let's see how many we got. We got three, six, we got seven packs to make the difference here. So we can pull it out of the fire. The dumpster fire that is this box. Sunbird's Invocation and a pretty foil forest. Which we'll definitely get put in the deck. Good use of that. Fell flagship. Okay. Five left. We're taking a whooping on the second box. First box is excellent. We're getting a, we're getting beaten on the second box though. Our goal is blood fast. Yeah. Ugh. Hmm. Kopala, Warden of Waves. Sanguine Sacrament. Two left, guys. Ugh. This is a gut-wrenching box. Vanquisher's Banner. Okay. 
One pack. Last pack. Last pack of two boxes. There it is. Sanctum Seeker. And a foil skittering heart stopper. Oh, okay. Sanctum Seeker, Vanquisher's Banner, Sanguine Sacrament, Kapala, Argo's Bloodfast, Fell Flagship, Foil Forest, Sunbird's Invocation, Revel in Riches, Shaper Sanctuary, Waker of the Wilds, Ashes of the Abhorrent, Gishath, Fathom Fleet Captain, Foil Fathom Fleet Captain, River's Rebuke, Growing Rites of Illumok, Dragon Skull Summit, Daring Saboteur, Primal Amulet, Rowdy Crew, Emperor's Vanguard, Herald, Priest of the Awakening Sun, Regisaur Alpha, Old Growth Dryads, Kinjali Sunwing, Boneyard Parley, Hurricane Adoption, Foil Sword Point Diplomacy, Conqueror's Galleon, Deep Root Champion, Fleet Swallower, Deadeye Tracker, Blood Craze Paladin, Treasure Map, Ripjaw Raptor, and Rootbound Crag. Alright, well we got some good stuff in there. <clears throat> um, all in all, when you put it together the, with the other box... We came out just fine. Um, we came out just fine with what we wanted out of two boxes. So we had one excellent box and one kind of a stinker. But we still managed to come out okay. So thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.